everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to day two of this week of videos this week-long videos I said in my last video yesterday's video which was my April beauty favorites that I was going to be doing videos every single day this week kind of to just like compensate for it last week which I didn't post any videos so yeah today I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my flawless foundation this foundation routine typically lasts me about the whole day unless I'm like doing like really crazy like physical activity it kind of lasts a little bit less but typically if I'm really not doing much of anything then this makeup will last me the entire day and still look pretty bomb.com at the end of the day so yeah i just wanted to show you guys how i achieve my flawless foundation face and um yeah i think that's it so if you guys want to see how i achieve flawless foundation then please keep watching oh are you guys loving the hair today <laughs> so Everyone and their mama knows that this is my favorite face primer. I put the air quotes around face primer because it's not really a face primer. That's not what it's intended for, but it works so perfect at keeping, you know, my foundation on the whole day. This is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm in Sensitive. This is what the bottle looks like. So I'm just going to put some onto my fingers and apply it to the face and then just like rub it in now that our primer is on I'm waiting for it to get a little bit tacky so one thing that I have been loving doing for the past like month two months already is mixing foundations so <laughs> I look like a crazy woman but these are the three foundations that I usually mix I'll start off with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 322 Warm Honey. And I'll just pour a little bit onto, oh, that was a lot, onto the back of my hand. So this is the color that I'll use when I'm tan, like during um, summer. And then I'll go in with my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation in 80 Rich Tan. And I'll just do one pump. And then I'll go in with my Avon Extra Lasting Liquid Foundation in Medium Beige. And I'll just add one pump of that too to make this little concoction. Okay, so now that my little concoction is made up on the back of my hand, I'm just going to start putting the foundation on with my fingers. Put it kind of everywhere. Like that. And then I like to go in with this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I believe this is like $6. And I go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. And I just do one spray just to get it a little bit moist and a little bit wet. And then I just go in in circles onto my face. Okay, then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 25 Medium. I'm just going to apply it on the places where I want to kind of conceal like my redness or just want to make it look brighter. So that for me is cheeks, forehead, down the nose, Cupid's bow, and around my nose because I get redness um, around my nose. And then just on my chin. Then to blend that out, I'm going to take my Real Techniques uh, complexion sponge this one's really dirty don't shoot me and then again I'm gonna go in with my setting spray and kind of just do two uh, sprays on it so I'm just going to pounce that into my skin I'd rather pounce into my skin than rub because I feel like rubbing it kind of takes my foundation away so I'll just like press it into my skin
Okay, so once the skin is nice and highlighted, I go in with my Maybelline, what is this, Shine Free Loose Powder. I mentioned in my April Favorites that this is my new favorite, like, setting powder, translucent powder type of thing that I used to love, the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, but I felt like it would just stick to my face. Oh, the e.l.f. powder is in sheer, so it's actually translucent powder. I felt like it would just stick to my face and make me look white in photos. And I feel like the Maybelline one doesn't. And I just dropped some. I feel like the Maybelline one doesn't do that because it is in light, so it has a little bit of color to it. Um, but it's lighter than my skin tone, so I can still use it as, you know, like a setting powder. So I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes a little bit. I'm just going to pounce out all of the creasing that has accumulated under my eyes. And I'm going to go in with this like half um, Real Technique sponge. This one, I accidentally ripped it while I was like washing it. So now it's for powder. And I'm just going to pick some up like that and place it underneath my eye. And the other. Okay, so once that is there, I'll go in and I'll set the rest of my face. Um, or the rest of the places where I put some concealer. So like on my forehead, down my nose, here, on my chin. I like to go um, on the lines on the side of my mouth just to prevent them from creasing. So like here. And I just let that sit for a little bit. Okay, so after this has set for about, you know, two, three minutes, I go in. See, this is the part that makes my foundation last the entire day. And I'm going to tell you guys where I got this from. So if you guys know me, then you know my obsession with Patrick Star. Not the Spongebob character, but the YouTube person named Patrick Star. Oh my god, he is to die for. So what he, what I always used to see him do was take some powder, uh, some loose powder, on a little fluffy pad like this. This one is from e.l.f. It comes with the with all of the high definition powders that um, I purchased. He used to take some powder on this and then just like push it into his face. And now I swear this is the only thing that I do. This is how I get my foundation to last the entire day. I swear. I used to watch his videos and be like, oh my god, why is he beating his face like that? But honestly, you guys, it works so, 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 so good. And it makes your foundation just go on, like, just last, last the entire day. It's so amazing. I always used to come home, like, after school and my foundation just looked all patchy and like barely even there basically just looked like my skin and it looked like I wasn't wearing any and ever since I started doing this for about a month and a half like I just don't have that problem anymore oh my goodness I love this technique no matter where I'm going what I'm doing how late I am I always need to do this and I love this powder because it doesn't like show in your flash photography like when you take pictures and stuff okay and then to finish off the face before I contour and like highlight and blush all that stuff I go in with some press powder this is the covergirl clean oil control press powder in 555 soft honey um, I believe I always used to use this in my like first videos when I first started doing YouTube um, about a year ago and I still have it. I think I've only repurchased it like once because then I'll get like new powders and I'll you know use those instead. But I like this one because it's a little bit darker than my skin tone and because the Maybelline powder is in light and sometimes my foundations can like look really light. Um, I like this because it kind of darkens up my skin a little bit without making me too orange. So I just put that all over my face. And that's basically it for my foundation routine. Okay, so now I'm going to go finish my makeup and probably film another video. 
and I'll be back when I'm done with my makeup and I'll show you guys how it's still there because you know how there's like those makeups that are those found those makeups those foundations that like you put it on and then you go on and you do the rest of your makeup and by the time that you're done with the rest of your makeup like your foundation is already like melted off yeah this isn't gonna do that I promise you guys so I'm gonna go finish up my makeup and then I'll come back and show you guys that it's my foundation is literally still there I still looks like I just put it on so yeah I'll be back in a second all right you guys so I just finished filming this makeup look it's a remake on um the classic glam that I did probably a few months ago probably like five or six months ago I don't know I do want to do a Q&A video so I'm still taking in questions for that um tweet me instagram me snapchat me your questions nothing is too personal and or you can also write them down in the down bar um i just want to say thank you guys so much for the support always um thank you guys so much for watching i know a bunch of you guys liked my april favorites video my monday video um so yeah i just want to say that i love you guys thank you guys so much for the continued support like that is what is keeping me going here on youtube like if i didn't feel like i had people to talk to and people to experience things with then i probably wouldn't be doing this um so yeah thank you guys so much for everything that you guys do for me like you guys give me the energy to want to come out here and or want to come on here and you know film these videos so i love you guys so much and i will see you guys tomorrow in my next video